Meantime, the first entry election petition called CTNN Abuja has adjourned to Friday, May 19, for the continuation of a pre hearing in the petition of a presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, against the president elect, Bola Timubu. The tribunal had last week adjourned the pre hearing session on Obi and the LP's petition till May 17 at the instance of the petitioners. At the resumed hearing, Council for Labour Party Levy Uzoku informed the court that the scheduled meeting to agree on documents to be tendered for hearing has yielded much result as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has only made available 30% of the documents required. He added that the party is yet to get documents with respect to River State, where he said the resident electoral commissioner said there were no forms EC8A available to be given, but was yet to put that in writing, despite a request to do so. Counsel for INEC, Abubakar Mahmoud, informed that the documents for Rivers and Sakoto State were provided, but the Labour Party refused to make payment for the documents. If you ask me, and I say it with every degree of uh, emphasis, that INEC sees itself as a candidate in an election that it conducted. I say it with every degree of emphasis, going by the conduct of INEC, and that is, and that is true. Now, you would have noticed, for those of you who were in court, that no other party is complaining about not getting any documents. Hmm. You should ask the question, why is it so? Because they have been provided with documents, except the petitioners, who have not been provided with the required documents. The fact is asking that some paragraphs of the petition be struck out. Serve this morning in court, and we will, we will reply accordingly, provide a very, very robust defense the allegation is misplaced. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.